my name is Dr. Marissa May. In this video, we're going to be working with the function 2x and we want to find the inverse. Now, in order to find the inverse, we're going to switch the x and the y. And you may be saying, well, where's the y? So let's rewrite this as y equals 2x instead of using that function notation. And now we can switch the x and the y. So now we have x equals 2y. We just switch them. Now we solve for the new y. So I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides. That gives me a half x. Now I'm going to go back to inverse notation, which tells me that it's 1 half x. Okay. Now, B asked me for the domain and range for f of x and the inverse. Well, the uh, f of x is a line, right? y equals 2x. And so my domain and range is going to be all reals. Mm -hmm. My inverse here is also a line, y, y equals 1 half x. And so again, I'm getting domain and range for both of them are all reals. Now let's draw a graph of our function and our inverse. Uh, we'll begin with the function. y equals 2x is a line with a y-intercept of zero, and my slope is two. So I'm going up one over two. I'm sorry, up two over one, up two over one. And this is my, this is my function. And again, forgive me for drawing with the mouse. Let me grab a different color to do the inverse. And my inverse is uh, y equals one half x. So again, I have a y-intercept of zero, but this time I'm going up one over two, up one over two, up one over two, and so forth. And there we go. This is my inverse. And both of them are lines, which made it kind of easy here. But I hope that helps when finding the inverse, we switch X and Y and we solve for the new Y. All right, friends. Bye for now.